How's it going guys, Davey here from phonebluff.com and in this video I'm going to be doing a comparison between the new voice actions or voice search on Android 4.1 Jellybean compared to Siri on the iPhone 4S. So last time these two met with the older version of voice actions, Siri did actually beat it out mainly due to the fact that with Siri you're able to speak more naturally to it and it would get what you wanted but it looks like voice actions has actually resolved that issue, um, adding new features to be able to support it. So we'll go ahead and start our test. So. What's the weather like? It's 77 degrees. Here's the weather for today through this Tuesday. Here's the forecast for the next few days. So you can see both of them gave us the right answer. And I was actually saying, what's the weather like? And uh, they were both able to respond correctly. Or before, um, that command might not have worked on voice action. So we'll go ahead and ask it another question like, will it rain tomorrow? Will it rain tomorrow? There's no rain in the forecast for tomorrow. Tomorrow is 88 degrees and mostly sunny. So we both we got the same result on both phones, but um, you can see that you know on voice action you can ask it more natural questions just like you are on Siri, and that gives you the answer. But the difference is you get the answer a lot faster so far on voice action. So let's go ahead into further into the test and see how each performs. When was Barack Obama born? So we got the answer already. Checking my sources. And we're still waiting on Siri. This might answer your question. And now we got the answer. So maybe a good five, six seconds before uh, Siri uh, voice actions actually loaded up our answer, which is nice because when you're using your voice, you want your answers almost instantly. Otherwise, you would just type it in and Google it. So let's go on to the next question. We'll ask it, um, how tall Michael Jordan is? How tall is Michael Jordan? Let me think about that. Would you like to search the web for so how tall in this is case, Michael Jordan? We got the answer right here, and uh, on the iPhone 4S, it's asking to do a web search. So we'll go ahead and tap on web search. Searching for how tall is Michael Jordan. And you can see how much longer it would take to get the answer here. Um, we got the same picture on both phones now, so you can see it, it's pulling it from Google anyway, and you know pretty much this is the same source. So um, we got the answer now, but we had to go through an extra step, and it was a lot faster on voice action. So let's go on to the next test. Let's ask it um, who won the Angels game last night. So who won the Angels game last night? The Angels beat the Orioles. Checking on that for you. So there you go. You can see that we already got the answer on voice actions and vo I don't our voice search. That. Would you like to search the web for it? And uh, for some reason Siri didn't respond. Usually it does uh, give me the answer to that, but We'll go ahead and exit out of there and uh, let's ask it another question. What's the speed of light in miles per an hour? The speed of light is. Let me check that for you. I found this for you. 629 miles per hour. So we got the answer nice and easy, what I was looking for on voice actions, and I don't even know what I got here. I just got some kind of formula, which that's not what I was looking for. I got meters per second squared. Um, I was looking for miles per hour, so again, a little bit more accurate on voice actions. Let's go ahead and try something else, like uh, texting somebody. So, text Google. Okay, well that didn't work. Siri uh, stopped answering. Let's go back. Looks like this guy got it, but let's try it one more time because Siri messed up right there. Text Google, what are you doing? So you can see Google search my contacts, Google got search. it, I could send it, and now I could send it Ready on send Siri. It? So both of them got it there, but uh, mm -hmm. seemed to be a little bit faster okay. on I won't send it. voice actions. So let's try another one, like uh, remind me to walk my dog. So remind me to walk the dog in 25 minutes. Setting Here's your reminder. So what's cool over here Shall with voice actions is, um, it automatically set the alarm. You see that little bar was loading and basically I had an option to hit cancel if I didn't want it Otherwise it automatically sets it where on Siri you have to actually hit confirm or say yes Which you know to me I find it kind of annoying, but um, depends on you know your personal preference there But it is faster uh, on voice actions once again. I'm just gonna hit cancel on this guy. Okay. I won't remind you and um, I mean, that's pretty much it. I mean, you guys can see the difference and both of them are pretty accurate. If anything, I'd have to say that voice actions or voice search is a little bit more accurate. We'll have to wait till iOS 6 gets uh, released officially so we can see, you know, how well Siri works. I know they added a lot more features to Siri and 
you know, tune in for more videos, subscribe to the channel. I'll definitely be doing a comparison in the future as soon as that drops. But anyway, that's it for me in this video. Thank you for watching.